Hello, 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 my beautiful family. This is Tracy coming to share another word with you guys. Listen, I just did a post saying I'll be back when God released me. Had no idea I was coming back on today. I didn't think so, but um, the Lord just dropped this word in my spirit. Um, it is an urgent word, so uh, we just go um, get into it. All right, let's pray first. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you for another day. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you that your mercies are new every day, Father. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor because it belongs to you and you alone. Father, we ask that you bless each and every one that is here to hear the word of God. Open up our ears, O oh God. Father, it is my prayer that I decrease and you increase. In the name of Jesus, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We serve notice right now on every foul demon, every de demon, every spirit that's not like God. I cancel your assignment right now by the authority and the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen, looky loo demons, you got to go. Monitoring spirits, you got to go. In the name of Jesus on this platform and every platform that represents Jesus Christ. Take your flee, take your flight right now in Jesus name. And we come against you with the blood of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you and we praise you for all that you have done, are doing and going to do. Thank you for the word in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Let's get into it. Listen, I'm so excited about being back. The Lord has had me um, resting and just some things are going on. I do ask that you guys pray for my youngest son. He has COVID. Um, he's doing better than he was before, but please keep him in your prayers, okay? I thank you so much in advance. Now this message, oh, thank you for all of the prayers, the encouragement, the support, the emails, all of that. Thank you for the seeds that you have sown. They are greatly appreciated, okay? May God bless you a thousandfold. If you would like to give into this ministry or just get, you want to give, buy me some um, something to drink, something to eat, whatever it is, you may do so just to pour into me. That is also greatly appreciated. The information is in the description as always, and may God bless you a thousandfold in Jesus' name. Amen. So this message is a kingdom um, marriage word, a kingdom spouse word, and it's heavily about kingdom marriage. Now, 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 this can be applied to other areas. Please seek the Lord, okay, on what messages are for you. We should always be taking everybody back to the Lord. That's one of the things I've been telling my daughter. And she says, you know, such and such person's a great person, da, da, da. I said, that's good. That's fine. Take everybody back to God. And I'm saying that to you. Take me and take everybody always back to the Lord. Daddy, is this your servant? Is this true, a true man or woman of God? Is this where you want me to be? That's very important, okay? So I wanted to get that out there. And thank you in advance for praying for my son, okay? I really appreciate it. So um, again, this word just came out of the blue. I was actually about to watch um, some of my uh, my favorites, which are black and white movies and Nigerian. I just, just let you guys in on that part. I've been watching um, Nigerian movies for probably the past four years or something like that. I just love them, okay? Um, and so I was about to watch a movie and something came up on my phone and it's the title of this message. It's called The Counterfeit Plan. This is an urgent uh, message right now. Now this is kind of a repeat. When God repeats himself, it is time for us to pay attention. This is so important because of where we are in our marital journey. We are right there, right? We are right on the cusp. I know you heard it before. I know we done said this time and time again. Let me tell you something. God ain't playing. And um, it's right here. I just want, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's right here. Okay. So you guys pay attention to that urgent message. Again, the counterfeit plan. And so I seen the title of this movie, which is from 1957. That may, you know, mean something to somebody. And, um, and now this plan that we're about to talk about is a plan straight from the devil. Okay. Straight from the pits of hell. He think he's slick. Listen, he trying to pull out all the stops. These marriages, these kingdom spouse marriages, um, uh, God ordained marriages are important to the body of Christ, important to kingdom work, because number one, that's what it's about. 
Like I said before, yes, you're going to enjoy it, okay? But we are talking about kingdom building, okay? We are talking about doing damage to the kingdom of darkness. And that's why the enemy is after these marriages, all right? These God-ordained marriages. So we have to pay attention, you guys, okay? And so this plan is straight from the devil, straight from the enemy, because our marriages are so close, because they are so important to the kingdom of God, all right? Um, and so the devil is trying to throw everything at us to get us to forfeit, to get us to get out of line, right? Anything he can do to trip us up, all right, to, to make it appear that this is the thing or the one and it's not. Be vigilant. Be careful. Amen. And so I released a video not too long ago. What was that? About four days or so ago that says don't fall for the counterfeit. If you have not seen it, please watch it. All right, please go and watch it. It is important, all right? And I will try to remember to put it in the description. But don't fall for the counterfeit. God is trying to get us to pay close attention, right? Now is the time to draw closer to God in prayer and fasting. You need the strength to recognize the enemy. You need the strength to wait just a little bit longer until the Lord does what he going to do, all right, in regards to your marriage. Again, this is can apply to many areas. So just get in where you fit in, okay? Amen, amen. And so make sure we do that. So the title of this mess, um, this movie stuck out so strongly in my spirit, I couldn't even pass it up. Never seen it before, never heard of it before. And to be honest, I didn't even watch it. I watched the trailer and I just let the Holy Spirit flow and say what he was going to say, okay? And so that's what it is. Now, it costs some money that I don't have, so I'm not going to watch it yet. But at some point, I will. Um, I will watch it. Um, so listen, so where am I? Brothers and sisters, um, those that have been called to kingdom marriage, be careful and attentive. I want to say it again. Do not move without God. I repeat, do not move without God. I want to say it again. Do not move without God. Do not pursue without God, without permission. All right. Be vigilant. Be careful. All right. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, it's so strong in my spirit. Um, let me see. Make sure that you know who your God ordained spouse is. Make sure that you know, like you know that you know, like you know that without a shadow of a doubt. Remember, oh, I know what I want to share before I go on. So listen, I watched a movie, um, a movie. I watched a video by, um, it's Nikki by Call Me Ruby. It's her, her channel is called Call Me Ruby. All right. Her name is Nikki. I love, love, love this woman of God. Um, it just have blessed me through this marital journey. It has helped me so much. Um, she comes highly recommended for me and many others. I, I know y'all know. All right. And so the title of the video that she just did, I don't know if that was yesterday, day before, don't quote me on that. Okay. And it's titled, is this kingdom, is this my kingdom spouse? All right. Now, listen, don't let the title get you tripped up because that's what happened to me. I was like, well, I know who my kingdom spouse is, so I don't have to listen. And the Lord, the Holy Spirit just kept bringing it back. And let me tell you something, blessed my socks off. Everybody need to hear it. There's something in it, I believe, for everybody. So um, I'm recommending it highly. Now, it's a little lengthy. Listen, 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 Linda. Okay, listen, listen. Um, it's worth every minute of it. I'm, I'm telling you, it's worth every minute. So please listen. I'm going to link it in the description as well. It's going to help you. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. It's, it's God is saying a lot of stuff in there. Holy Spirit is revealing some stuff. It blessed my socks off and I'll probably be listening to it again. Okay. Even though it's lengthy, it's worth it. All right. And then the title, it's not just for, um, those who may be asking the question It's for all of us who are on this kingdom spouse journey. So I want to put that in there. So listen. And so I want you to remember this as you press into the Lord, remember you are his sheep. You do hear him. You do hear him. Let the Lord confirm it to you. Don't you pull for it. Oh, this looked like it fit me. I'm going to take it. Let God confirm it to you. The Bible says in John 10 and 4 and, and 10 and 27, it says, my sheep know my voice. All right. Amen. Amen. And so remember that because the enemy's out there. He prowling around. He wants to destroy this thing that God's doing because he knows we fit to do some damage. Okay. We fit to like, hey. Do some damage to the kingdom of darkness. First Peter 5 and 7, it says this. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walketh about roaring like a lion, as a lion seeking whom he may devour. Okay? Let's pay attention, right? Amen, amen. So, in this movie, The Counterfeit Plan, one man 
wants to get another man. This is an old acquaintance. He wants to get him back into his old lifestyle. Okay. We're going to call the, the man that's changed the new man. Okay. So the, um, bad man, we're going to call him the bad man. We're going to call it the new man. All right. So the bad man and old acquaintance want to get the new man back into an old lifestyle. I hope you guys are following me. Okay. Now, listen, the new man, he ain't trying to do that. He doesn't want to go back because he's changed now, right? We've all been changed. Thank you, Jesus. All right, those that have accepted Jesus Christ. So the new man has changed his ways and the bad man trying to take him back. All right, he wants him back. Remember, the enemy wants us back too. He wants us to, he wants to stop us from moving forward into the things of God. But the devil is a liar. Amen. And he's defeated, okay? It's not even going to happen. And remember, we all have a choice. I want to say this. We all have a choice. In, in, in Jer no, Joshua 24 and 15, it says, choose you this day whom you were served. That means you have a choice. You're going to choose God or you not, right? And so we have a choice. So you guys, just don't move without God, all right? Choose God. Choose what God is saying about you. Choose the person that God has for you. Choose the way that God wants you to go. Do not fall for the enemy and don't move without God. I'm, I can't stress that enough. All right. And remember also that God does not come to your heart and kick the door in. No, the Bible says that he comes. Um, let me just go to it real quick. You guys give me just a moment. I just wrote a little note. So let me get back to my notes. It says that he, he stands at the door and knock. He doesn't kick it open. Jesus doesn't come and kick the door open. He stands in knock, Revelations 3 and 20. All right? This means you have free will. You can choose. Open the door unto God when he's knocking. All right? And I just wanted to point that out for us to choose wisely and to choose God. So, back to the movie. So, in the movie, the new man has a choice. Whether or not he's going to stay on the straight and narrow or is he going to go back to his old ways. Now, the bad man, the enemy is trying to blackmail him. So there was something apparently from his past that he probably didn't want family to know or something. You know how the devil is. I'm going to bring your past back up. They're not going to listen to you. Or uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell people what you used to do. Kick rocks. Okay. Get going. I don't care. It's my past. It's behind me. Say whatever you want to say about my past. Okay. It, it doesn't. I am a new creation. And so this man, I don't know if he took the bait or not. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let me go. So he, so the bad man wants him to go back to his old ways. We know that is the enemy. And the new man, okay, he wants to get him with something from his past, like I said. And they were acquaintances before. Remember, we were in sin before, right? Right. And um, we was working together with the devil, right? And then we came out of that. We came out of that right? We accepted Jesus as our Lord and, and, and Savior, right? We repented of our old ways. And so now we are new creations, right? In the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are new creatures. And so you know what happens. Let's read this scripture, you guys. Let's go to Luke 11. Where my phone at? Where my phone be at? Let's go to Luke 11, 24 and 25. Um, yes, it says, when an impure, no, nope, let me go to another translation. I'm just going to do King James, okay? It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. You see that? Okay, he said, I'm going to go back and try to get in. That's what the devil does when you get saved. That's what the devil does when you turn from your wicked ways, right? And serve the Lord. And he wants to come back. My phone is slowing down. You guys, give me a second. And he wants to come back and get in. Verse 25. And when he comes, he findeth it swept and garnished. Right? We've been cleaned up. We have changed. The enemy going to come back and try to get in. Like, uh, no. And no. Right? So in the movie, this is what happened. The guy changed and the, this bad man want to come back and try to... Uh, get back in, but the devil's a liar. Anyways, I hope you guys are getting it, get, getting that part. So listen, family, the enemy wants to bring a counterfeit. This is the tool that he's using in right now to get you to forfeit your God ordained marriage. He wants to bring counterfeit. He wants to bring old stuff, whatever he can. That's what he wants to bring to cancel out what God is doing. Now, of course he can't, 
I'm just telling you, he's trying to come. He wants to bring a counterfeit. Do not take the bait. Do not take the bait. You need to be sure that you know that you know that you know who God said is your God-ordained spouse. I cannot stress that enough. Okay? I cannot stress that enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not going to allow the enemy to do, derail us, all right? To get us off track, to take us back to a place of ungodliness, to a place of sin. I remember uh, <clears throat> after... Um, I remember getting into a relationship. I'm just going to say that. Okay. And, um, and I had gotten off track because I got into a relationship with someone I shouldn't have. Now, granted, I was saved. I was doing, you know, following the Lord. Then I get with this guy and what happens? And I go right back to my sinful ways. Don't do it. Counterfeit. I wanted to get married and everything. Like, thank you, Jesus, that you did not answer that prayer. I was asking God, Lord, please, can we just marry him? Cause you can fix him and change him. The blood of Jesus and the devil's a liar. No. Okay. So for those that have been chosen for kingdom um, marriage, um, because these marriages is about kingdom work, right? The devil is really after the kingdom marriage. The devil is really after these God ordained marriages. Pay close, close attention. Like I said, be vigilant, please. Okay. Stay close to God in prayer and fasting. Do not entertain the devil. Do not entertain anyone else. D don't, don't, don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Last thing we're going to read, we're going to read about, um, Samson and Delilah. Okay. Cause it was just too much. Now, Samson shouldn't have been playing no games with Delilah. Okay. Cause she was trying to, she was just doing stuff, right? She was just doing stuff. Let's read some of this. Let's go to judges chapter 16. I'm not going to read all of it. So let's do chapter 16 verses 6 through 10, and then we do 15 through 19, okay? Judges 16, verse 6. So Delilah said to Samson, please tell me where your great strength lies. Right there. It should have been a red flag. Like to me, that was it. Like, nope, you up to no good, okay? And she says, and excuse me, and with what you may be bound to afflict you, what is your weakness? How can I get in Right out the gate, like, no, <laughs> like, no, but yet Samson toyed around. Anyways, and Samson said to her, and he joking around, right? If thy bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. Now men were lying in wait. The devil is lying in wait, okay? He is, um, now the men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room. They were hiding, okay? And she said to him, the Philistines are come upon you, Samson. But he broke the bowstrings as a strand of yarn, yarn breaks when it touches fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Delilah said to Samson, look, you have mocked me and told me li lies. Now, please tell me what you may be bound with. Samson, how did Samson fall for this? Like, I just want to know. I just, I just want to know. Okay, so 15, let's go down to 15 and you guys just read it. Okay, because I was like, what? Because it's been a while since I read it. Then she said to him, how can you say I love you? The devil's a liar. How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your great strength lies. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him so that his soul was vexed to death. She wore him out. She just kept on and kept on and kept on. And he yielded. Listen, I don't care how many times the devil come. Get thee behind me, Satan. The blood of Jesus. Yeah, no bullshit. Oh my God, tell them the blood of Jesus, okay? So verse 17, that he told her all his heart, so he gave in and said to her, no razor has ever come upon my head for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me and I shall become weak and be like other men. When Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines saying, come up once more for he has told me all his heart. So the Lord of the Philistines came 
to her and brought the money in her hand. All right, Jesus, help us today. Then she lulled him. Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shave his head, shave off, I'm sorry, the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him and his strength left him. What a setup by the devil. Okay, now listen, that is the plan of the enemy, the, the counterfeit plan. So he wants to plant this person that may appear to be your God-ordained spouse and is not. That is the counterfeit plan. That is the plan of the enemy that is coming in, that is trying to come in right now and disrupt and get you off course. Don't do it. I'm telling you that the, the journey back from that is something I know. I'm telling you what I know. The journey back from that, getting to someone who is not, getting with someone who is not your God or dang spouse. So then you got to go through that healing process. You got to go through recovering. You got to go through some forgiveness for yourself because I was mad at me. Like, how are you going to do that? You like, oh, you know, and then you got to forgive them. But at the end of the day, I chose and allowed so I can't even be mad at him at the end of the day, right? I can't. And so we don't, this is the plan of the enemy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is the counterfeit plan. This is mainly about God ordained marriages. The enemy is sending a, a counterfeit. Recognize my brothers and sisters, recognize the plan of the enemy. That is what he's doing. That's why the message was urgent. I had to come like take my hair down and shake it a little bit. And put some eyeliner on. You guys, really quick, I am going to the doctor about my eye. Finally, I've been able to get some things taken care of and get in. Anyways, um, so this is yet another warning from God, okay? Listen, when God repeats himself, you got to take heed. Now, whoever this message is, is for, I pray you get it. And I pray that you listen. Go back to the Lord on your knees and say, Daddy, don't. Help me to see. Help me to recognize. Fast for clarity. Amen. Let me tell you something. Fasting for clarity works. Because when I'm fasting, boy, I can hear so much better. Right? So much clearer. Amen. Amen. So that's the enemy's plan. It is the counterfeit plan. Stay awake. Be, be vigilant. All right? That He wants to come and get you off. He wants you to miss the mark, but the devil is a liar. And we come against him right now with the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare that your plan, devil, will not work. In Jesus' name, it will not work. Amen and amen. So apply this where, where you need to apply it. But again, this is strongly, heavily for God-ordained marriage. That is the word. I'm not going to stay on here. I'm going to get off. Thank y'all so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you in advance for praying for my son. Thank you for praying for me. Like I said, I have had some things going on as well. Um, but God is a good God and he's so faithful. And I love him so much. Like I'm in love. Hey, what can I say? I'm in love. Let me get off of here. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you just now coming back, check it out. It's all right. Because the most important thing is that you're back now, right? Amen. Amen. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you can make as well. And all heaven is rejoicing with you too. I'm getting all mixed up. Listen, may the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much, but Jesus loves you so much more. All right? Listen, don't fall for it, okay? Don't fall for the enemy. He's trying to plant a counterfeit in your life. And you can't do it, all right? So this is about the counterfeit plan. We're not having it. I love y'all, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.